Uh, well, hello collectors. Uh, we're uh, at a home here, a lovely uh, lady whose uh, husband had a fine Third Reich collection, and uh, we uh, have been dealing with her on that. Uh, and her husband also uh, collected uh, Edison uh, record machines. And I must say the, the collection is extremely extensive, uh, and we're looking for someone that uh, possibly might be interested in uh, acquiring this um, Edison collection. So we're going to kind of show you uh, what's in the room. Unfortunately, I'm not well versed on Edison machines. I have one myself, but uh, I don't even know how to clean it, so I'm not much good on it. But we'll, uh, Her husband also collected fire items, uh, antique fire items, so you may see some of that kind of thing mixed into it. And we'll take you into another room with that stuff. So this is mostly the, the Edison items now that we're going to look at. A lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things here. All these old bells, wow. Is yours still uh, working, Pop? What's that? Is yours still working? Your Edison? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can see this machine has the cabinet with the, uh, you know, the records are the cylinder type that uh, Edison used. Uh, RCA used the flat records, and Edison refused to change, and as a result, he had to go out of business. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, amazing amount of material here. Uh, this is uh, a machine with the, the wood bell, and uh, I know that um, the wood bells were uh, a very, very costly uh, extra. In fact, people have told me that uh, uh, you could pay as much for the wood bell as the machine. <laughs> Maybe sometimes more. That's right, I love this train in here. Yeah, it's, it's just dark. It is really a fantastic train. Wait, it's very long too. It's kind of dark back here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these bells she's got. Oh my god. It's just amazing. It's like being in a museum itself. Yeah. Don't break it. <laughs> no. Did you get all those bells? Yeah. Horns. <clears throat> Along with the, uh, the collection of Edison machines, uh, there's also a, a collection of uh, antique uh, fire items. Uh, uh, lots of these old bells from firehouses and uh, uh, some unique toys, which I think are really pretty, really nicely done. Uh, horns, lanterns. Well, you guys can look at the stuff and yeah. somebody that's interested in these kind of things will know a lot more about it than I do. Look at all those hats. Man. Yeah. Yeah, look at those old firehouses. Wow. Badges. Lots of fire badges. Yeah. Bells, bells. Look at the old nozzles, too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get those badges? Yes. I know a lot of people like to collect uh, police badges. I don't know about yeah. firehouses. Yeah. Oh, there's tons of them. Yeah, there's 
hundreds of them. Wow. It's amazing, yeah. Two, 204. 204. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? There's 204 fire badges. <laughs> So if any of our viewers have an interest in uh, this collection, um, you can contact me and uh, we'll try to uh, set you up so you can uh, take a look at it or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of items here that would take a, a lifetime to find, I'm sure. And uh, if you have an interest at all, I'm sure there's things here that you've probably been looking for for a lifetime. So give us a call if you can. Ah, well, collectors, uh, here we are again. We uh, somehow recovered from that 100th uh, uh, video that we did last week. And um, I must say, I, I have to thank everybody. We had uh, record numbers of views on the video, uh, and the amount of comments were also uh, uh, an exceptional number. All good, I might admit. So... I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, uh, we really had a, fun, a lot of fun. I guess I drank too much champagne, but uh, uh, it was kind of a kind of a celebration. And um, for you guys that, that saw the video, you remember that uh, uh, the Allentown show uh, gave me this um, fantastic eagle to uh, commemorate the occasion. So. Uh, I think that's really a great thing, and um, I'm going to keep it in a place of honor here. Maybe I'll start out by putting it next to this fake ad of uh, of me with the man. This is whiskey. <laughs> somebody, somebody did that with the internet somehow. It's so clever what you can do today. Uh, but anyhow, so uh, our video this time is number. 101. Is that right, Ob? That's right. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of videos in the past, and um, we hope that we can, we can keep doing more, because they're lots of fun, and you guys seem to, uh, seem to enjoy them, so far, anyhow. So we'll keep doing them. Mm. But of course, I gotta, gotta, Get a Denovoli lit, and uh, Ob, you think you uh, feel a little thirsty? Sure. Huh? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe we can uh, have a couple of Imperials here. <coughs> yeah. And break up the ice a little bit. No more champagne for a while, okay? <laughs> you think I overdid it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Well. No. I don't. It was fun though. I must say though, I I was not too good the next day. I don't know why. Uh, you know when you're used to drinking hard liquor, when you start messing around with uh, with wines, it doesn't. Uh, your system is oh, what's this? You know, and uh, and apparently my system was going whoa, what's this? Because I didn't feel so good the next day, but. Uh, it was all worth it though because we had fun. Well, okay, I will give you a little hit here. Get you going. And I'll have a little myself. As we always say, it's it's too early, but uh, what are you gonna do? And I get a little just a little bit of diet soda in there. Okay, we should be in pretty good shape there. I hope. So we uh, we had some uh, uh, some things come in uh, during the week, um, uh, quite a number of boxes actually, and then we bought a couple things during the week too. Uh, I'm not going to show you all that, but mm. wow. Man, that's a rough one. But um, I want to show you a couple of things um, just to get the, the program going. 
um, we put this canteen and I'm telling you did you ever see a better conditioned one I mean it's the uh, the felt around it is absolutely perfect it's got all of the leather and the, the snap clips the buckle uh, the cup is in really nice condition with all original paint and uh, I just don't remember seeing one in that nice of a condition maybe these are so common that you guys see them all the time but uh, but we don't here so I thought I would show that to you because it's uh, it's kind of neat doesn't look like anybody's taking the cap off since the war <laughs> by the looks of it yep. Uh, we can assume that it's got the little screw cap below. Isn't that what they have, Bob? I forget. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, but that's a that's a pretty nice thing. And uh, and this is something you guys will like. Uh, you guys are always looking for these these early SA daggers. Mm. Ah yes. Uh, uh, we bought this one and. Um, as you can see by the outside, it's all uh, early nickel uh, fittings with a, with a beautiful grip that fits like a rubber glove. Very, very nice scabbard. It's got the anodizing. It's all there. And a very nice uh, early hanger that looks original to the piece. And uh, how's the ball? Even the ball looks great, guys. So the other side of it. Uh, it's got a gal mark on here, uh, uh, looks like uh, WF, don't see that too much, group of mark. And now I'll show you the blade guys, ready for this? Uh, beautiful, um, beautiful mint uh, blade, alles für Deutschland. Um, and then um, on the other side, this is one you don't see very much. Uh, it's got the big word Remive on it. And it's a fairly rare maker, uh, but it's great to see one in, uh, in such nice condition. I like that dagger a lot, and I'm sure you guys will too. Yeah, that's a rare maker. No doubt about it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, uh, the name of their firm is, uh, is actually, it's, um, it's C. Remscheid, and I guess they took the Remive out of the letters from that name, uh, but it's quite a, um, quite, a nice, uh, quite a nice logo. So I thought you would like that. And then there's something that, that Bob and I bought, and you know we're not, we're not really fully versed in field gear and all that. And we got a bunch of straps here. And uh, our question to you guys is, um, we don't know what these straps are. They're all original. Um, uh, we're not sure, are they chin straps for helmets or are they for Shakos or, or what are they? There's, um, and there's brown ones also. Oh no, that, they're just brown on the other side. No, here's a brown one, yeah. There's a brown one. And the others are, uh, the others are all black. Um, but if anybody knows what these things are, we'd like to know. And I'm sure there's plenty of guys out there, of course we know what they are. Why don't you know that, Whitman? Well, I don't know. I guess I could search around, but I think it's easier to ask you guys, because I know you guys will know right away. But um, isn't that something though? If these are, if these are um, helmet chin straps, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, uh, five of them. Boy, I'm sure they'll go in a hurry because everybody's always asking for um, for chin straps, and we never have any because they're always broken or whatever, and they never come loose. But here we might have a case where where they will. So let us know about that, okay, guys? Okay, we'll uh, we'll get going now with the regular unboxing. Mm. Ah, that's a good one. Yep. Yeah. See what we got here. I think uh, the first thing I I got a a tube here that uh, I I think it's a sword, but I don't know. We'll see. The the cap is kind of falling off of here, and 
and uh, it looks like the guy didn't bother to wrap anything. It just uh, sort of feels like it's uh, just loose here. Not sure how to really get this out. Hmm. <laughs> Why doesn't that? Oh, I see. Oops. Because the cross guard quilling end is pushing through the box. Boy, I'm telling you guys, that's so that's keeping it from uh, from coming up here. I guess you'd have to have to cut this box to. I don't know how to get this out of here, Rob. Okay, I was able to use a Bob Burns cutter here to, we hope, free this piece up. Let's see. Uh, looks like we got a nice um, police sword. And uh, there's a scabbard rattling around in here, too. No other packing. I don't know. <laughs> Don't you think it's kind of taking a chance to send something like that, guys? Boy, that's, I don't know, just looking looking for trouble. Um, so let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, it's a, uh, it looks like a, a very nice um, uh, Paul Wiresberg um, police officer Dagen. And uh, it's got a nice grip, good eagle, uh, no rust or trouble to the to the hilt mounts, really nice nickel plating. Yeah, and the uh, the blades in um, in mint condition, and the scabbard is um, is very nice too. Although I see it's missing the um, the hanging ring. Let's see uh, if it's in the box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> the way this thing was packed, you don't know. Nothing rattling around there, so that's a that's a pretty nice uh, police sword. But again, uh, that kind of a uh, packing job is not really something that I advise. But it looks like everything made it, so I guess we're all right, and that's the main thing. So good. That's a yeah. Let's see what is this here. Oh, it's just got tape and goo on it where the quilling thing went through the side of the box. Okay, we'll put that back for now. Alright, let's see what we got next here. Yeah. I don't know whether this Bob Burns cutter is going to work after. Oh yeah, it still works after cutting that box open. What do we got here? Well, nothing wrapped, it's just thrown in this envelope. And there we go, guys. Well, looks like we got a nice uh, nice armband here. It's all it's three-piece construction. Everything is separately sewn there and good red color sewn up the rear. Uh, oh, there's a sign of where a tag once was in it. So, uh, so that's a pretty good thing. Now, what the devil is this thing here? Looks like a DAF field from a flag. You know, I think you're right, Ob. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, now that's something. Uh, a DAF flag is is quite a rare thing on its own, and uh, you don't see that. I've never seen some, a field cut out in it. Uh, probably this. some veteran. It was it, by the size of the field. It was a pretty big yeah. flag, and I like guess the they. Yep. They just cut it out with a pair of scissors the way it looks. Um, this is all separate construction too here. Um, kind of a shame, but then again, it's uh, uh, there's a lot there. <laughs> wow. Now, well, you see everything, I guess, sooner or later in this business, but uh, I've seen a lot of uh, cut out fields, uh, but never a DAF uh, mm -mm. flag. So there you go, Ob. How yeah. do you like that, huh? That's cool. We'll see everything sooner or later around here. Okay. Yeah. 
here we go. Let's see what we got next here. Let's see where this thing's coming from. Fort Lauderdale, okay. Let's see what's coming from Fort Lauderdale, guys. We'll get this Bob Burns cutter working here. By the way, guys, did you enjoy seeing Bob Burns on the 100th video? He's really a nice guy. He was a little shy, but uh, camera shy maybe, but uh, uh, he's really been a, a good buddy for many, many years. And I thought it was fun to for him to make a showing. We keep talking about Bob Burns, Bob Burns, and now you know what he is, who he is. Hmm. And as usual, the Denovoli goes out. Hmm. Ah. Well, let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, looks like a box inside of a box. With some popcorn. Oh. <laughs> You can't miss getting that popcorn all over, no matter what you do. All right, let's see what the what's inside the inside box here. And probably open this side looks easier. Well, looks like we got a little letter here. That's always good. Something about a dox hunt. I don't know what he's talking about. A what? A dox hunt. A dox hunt? A dog. Wow, it's well packed though. Wow, I wonder what this is. Uh, I think this is going to be nice. This looks like it's going to be a nice thing here. Got to solve the, the packing mystery. I don't want to pull on it too much. Well, we're getting there, guys. If this is a porcelain or something, you, you can see why somebody would want to take great care with it. I'm almost there. What's holding this together here? I think that's the spot. Mm. Ah. Wow. Oh my, what a lovely little thing. Isn't that beautiful, Bob? Yeah. The puppy. I guess it's an olive piece. <clears throat> yeah, it's olive. Yeah, it's olive. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, I think the guys. Oh, it's uh, Theo Corner. Mm -hmm. He made most of the animals, but gee, what a lovely, lovely little thing. It's in perfect condition. All the little claws are there, and so for you guys that. Some of you guys have dachshunds out there. That might be a nice thing to add to your collection. Boy, isn't that a lovely little piece? Mm -mm -mm. Did you get the olicob? No. Yeah, it's a corner, yep. Yeah, you like that piece? I'm not sure if it's a dachshund, though, but I'll have to check it out. I think it is a dachshund. It's, um... Sure, it's a dachshund. Yeah, Look yeah. how long his body is. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's a dachshund. Wow, oh, what a beautiful little thing there. Some of you girls out there, you dog lovers, you probably really like that. Hey, don't let your wife see that one. Yeah. That's a very, very nice thing. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll enjoy uh, putting that up on the uh, on the website. Wow. Uh, it was designed in 1936 
and it's a Theo Corner model number one. Very, very nice. Thank you, sir. That is very good. Okay. I'll see what we have next here. Let's get the rest of this stuff out of here while you're at All right, it. Yeah, I guess you're already done. Clean up the mess. Piece of popcorn there, too. Popcorn? Mm hmm. Of course. There's always, <laughs> always a piece of popcorn whenever you get this stuff. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Wow. Mm. Here we go. Dealing a lot of olic. It's funny. We started dealing in olic uh, several years ago, and it was a onesie twosie type thing, but. Uh, uh, once you get into it, more people see that you have it, and as a result, it uh, it attracts more too, which I'm happy for because that gives a lot of people the opportunity to own a piece of olive, which, in my opinion, is always a great um, investment and very, very beautiful, and usually something your wife will like too. Mm. Okay. Uh, See what we got here next. Uh, I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, well, this is coming from uh, Arroyo Grande, California. I don't know where that is. Sounds like a neat place, though. You know where that is, Ob? Did you ever hear of it? No. No. Well, let's see here. We'll get. We'll find out what's coming from Arroyo Grande, California. Yes, sir. Add a good old Bob Barnes. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Two items here. Let's see what we got. I don't think this is the first use this piece of paper had here. But, uh, no, it still does the job. Yep. And a lot of uh, a lot of scotch tape here. Looks like we got an edge weapon here for sure, guys. Hello. Wow. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a, uh, obviously a uh, an early uh, an early dagger here with all nickel mounts and. Um, the, um, the scabbard is uh, anodizing, it's quite beautiful. Uh, the grip is really nice. Uh, the ball looks okay, a little hit in the bottom of it, not too bad though. And the reverse is also just as nice. It's got a group of NS on it. Look how that grip fits, like a rubber glove. Yeah, well let's, uh, Let's see what we got here. Oh, a mint. Almost mint. There's just a little tiny bit of age there, but it's pretty much a mint blade. Very, very nice example. And let's see who the maker is on this. Ah, it's an Ozzo with the hobby horse. We don't see that one too much. Yeah, that's a good one. That scabbard is tremendous. Yeah, that's a that's a real uh, that's a real decent piece. I like that one. You like that one, Ob? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a decent piece. Oh, 
Got a hole in your glass? Yeah, again. Yeah. Well, it happens. I think I'm still good at the moment, which is rare. But uh, gotta make sure the cameraman is well lubricated <laughs> here, guys. You know, uh, the good file of grievance that there's not enough liquor being poured for him and call the union or something, and the next thing you know, we don't have a cameraman, right, Ub? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Okay, that ought to that ought to take you through the next next two items, anyhow. Oh, and we got another dagger here too. Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, that Azo piece is certainly nice. Yeah, two good SAs. Almost identical, except for the maker. Same fittings yeah. and uh, anti scabbard. Yeah. yeah, you're right. There's no fitting on that one, though, or hanger, is there? I don't know. I can't find the No, on the other cutter. The, the first essay, there's no hanger like the other one had. No, right? there's no yeah. hanger on this one. Did you see what I did with the Bob Burns cutter? Yeah, you just cut that box open. It's probably behind it. No. <laughs> How can, it's impossible that things can disappear like this. Oh! There it is. It was stuck in the wrapping paper. All right, we're back in business. Here we go. Yeah, you couldn't get too far in this business without a Bob Burns cutter, I'll tell you. Oh my. Huh. <laughs> wow. Oh, gee, collectors. We're getting spoiled here, I think. Wow. Look at the condition of that piece. Isn't that lovely? Wow. Beautiful grip. Solid nickel guards. Nice anodizing. Beautiful early hanger with a belt loop on it. The ball just got a tiny little shot in the bottom of it, but it's nothing. And the reverse is really nice. It's an HE marked piece. Boy, it looks like it's going to be a goodie, doesn't it, Ob? Yeah. Mm. Well, we shall see here. Oh, flat out mint blade. Look at that blade. Look at that dark motto, too. Oh, that's got to be our uh, oh. our friend there. Oh, what's the name of that maker? Uh, well, it's, I, it's not a soul dagger, I don't no, think. No, no, no. The anchor. Oh yeah, good Bruder Heller. Bruder Heller, yeah. Yeah, it might be saying. right. You gonna say that? Yeah, I'll say it. I'm gonna look Heller. I'm gonna say maybe Bickle or somebody. Bickle, okay. Let's see who. Oh, you were right, Ob. It's a Rome too. It's a, it's a yeah, it's a Rome. See, too. it's got the small trademark because it's a Rome. Let me see that. It's about a 98 percent partial too. Well, I gotta look at it oh, here. Let me just get it real fast. That's really a nice example. Wow. Very, very, very desirable dagger, guys. If you can't afford a full room, boy, that's right next to it. Boy, if it wasn't for like the uh, scratching, you could think it was just worn down, but yeah, uh, it was it was Let me just look at it. It's uh, a slight partial is what you call it. Wow, yeah, there's a uh, there's probably that's a once over 85 all, yeah. 90 percent of it anyhow is still there Isn't that something guys I mean the way you you see these room pieces done I mean some people are so meticulous and they repolish every area other people just grind the whole thing out and uh, Here this guy just kind of swept across it. Ah good enough. Give me a quick shot. Yeah quick shot. Yeah that's well, nice that's dagger. a honey. That's uh, I'm really happy to have that dagger. That's uh, and the the obverse blade is flat out mint. Uh, that is a uh, that is a really good piece, and uh, and I'll guess the maker too. How about that? How Ob's about really that? getting yep. good. Well, yeah. Yep, Ob is definitely getting very very good. Uh, there you go. 
Uh, that was uh, that was kind of a nice box. I enjoyed that. Do you like that, collectors? That was pretty good, huh? Boy, how many rooms do you see like that, and then in that condition too? It just uh, and that wow. maker and the maker, yeah. You don't see a lot of Hellers. Well, we'll press on here. Let's see what's next. Now you never saw the small anchor on just a regular SA once they no, got past no, the room? No, it was only used on rooms oh. to leave space for, for the, the uh, inscription. And yeah. we see a lot of um, a lot of producers that um, that did that. The same thing, yeah. Um, uh, one that's most popular uh, is the small uh, 3335 um, Icorn trademark, which was only used on on Rome daggers. How about that? So. Uh, here's another box from um, Fort Lauderdale. I think it's from the same gentleman that sent us the uh, the uh, Dachshund Olic oh, piece. Good. So maybe we got something else like that. No, I don't remember seeing a small EPNS though. Cause that's why half of them are always grounded off, right? The APS logo didn't change. Yeah. Um, they sort of moved it around a little bit though to make room for. Actually, EPS mottos, you can look at 50 of them and you're all a little different. One yeah. It's exactly it's the weird. same. They're all uh, a just, little uh, different. Yeah. They're all different. They, I think they were in such a rush to produce daggers. Remember, guys, in uh, February the 14th, 1934, there was an order for a million SA and SS daggers from Soligan. And the first ones to be reproduced, or not reproduced, <laughs> the first ones to be produced had to be the full Rome inscriptions because Rome wanted those daggers given out to those people first because they were long standing SA members. People that were in the SA um, prior to Hitler coming to power for two years were automatic candidates for the. Full room inscription. What year was that? Uh, 1932 is. 32. Started if you were in 31, 32. It had to be two years before the dagger was. No, when uh, the order come in. What's that? The order for the daggers. Yeah. 32. The uh, you ordered them in 34. 34. But they checked to see when your membership was, and you got the full room if you were. So they did all that in February 34, and then they. Uh, <laughs> They knocked the Ernst out uh, in June. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is why you'll and see, um, uh, for instance, a good example is that uh, uh, many Himmler daggers are original full room uh, daggers that were produced but never given out because Rome was dead then. So they removed the Rome etch and put the Himmler etch in. Mm. So, uh, well, full Rome SS. Strange That's stuff. Very, uh, okay, very we weird. got something here. Let's see what this is, guys. I, I think this is going to be another piece of porcelain too. I'm not sure, but uh, there's that familiar bubble stuff, popcorn. Well, let's see if we can get it out of here with the least amount of damage to the environment around me. Uh, oh, it's not oh, so good. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. We're getting there. Yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna be alright guys. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. I like this navy picture, by the way. Yeah. I always thought it looked just like Gail and David. <laughs> For you guys that know Gail and David, a while ago, of course. But there we go. Galen, were you in the navy during the Third Reich time? <laughs> he French might Marine? have been. He's not, He's pretty old. <laughs> Galen was in the navy then, and he was running around trying to buy up uh, SS daggers. Yeah. 
All right, let's see what we got here now. Nicely packed, guys. Not bad at all. Now, let's see what we got here. Yes, sir. Careful now. Huh? Don't be banging it around too much. It's getting thin. No, you're right. There could be something that sticks out. Uh, very delicate stuff. Bob's right, guys. You really got to be careful with this stuff here. You break a claw off or something. A little and, pipe. <laughs> there you go. Nobody wants a piece. Oh, that's not good. There you go. Careful with the tail. Careful with the tail there. Yeah. It's a bird. I think we had this piece recently, and just um, a similar piece. Yeah. yeah, similar piece. Very beautiful with the tail, and look at all the sure. serrations and the feathers here, and all, all still perfect. See, that's the kind of stuff you got to be really careful it when you're handling. Might not be the same model, but it's definitely from the bird uh, collection. Yeah. yeah, the tail way up and the wings come out. Give it a little spin. Yeah, it's really a uh, a beautiful, beautiful olive piece. Mm. Yeah, they're nice. They're very attractive. He's sitting on some um, pine cones and leaves. It looks like. And let's see. Yeah, there's that. There's that olive mark, guys. Yeah, it's that corner again. He's a busy man. Corner again? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, sorry. No, it's not corner. I can't really read it too well. No, it's um, Romano or something like that. Let me Let's, see. This. Let me see. What it There's says. a cover letter here and Roaring, I believe. Um, it's uh, it's an Olic Amsel A M S E L Blackbird, design number 33. Um, the Amsel is one of the rarest of all Olic animal figures. Wow, this white porcelain figure of a blackbird standing atop strawberries. I thought they were pine cones or strawberries. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Designer was Adolf Roaring, yeah. R-O-H-R-I-N-G. Yeah, that's a very, very nice. Uh, yeah, really nice piece. Very nice piece, and uh, good stuff. I think it's pretty rare too. Yeah, I like that. I'm glad you said to be careful, Bob. You're right. The way that tail is, and the and beak, all. and the tail, and the wings, and everything. Everything. Just yeah, it's very delicate. One clink, and that's it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Those, um, um, both of those Olic figures are really, really lovely. Yeah. Mmm. A drink to that. Uh, what was his name? Adolf Roaring? Yeah, close Roaring. enough. Yeah. I don't think he made many things. I no, I don't. It doesn't no. jump off. It's not like corner. Yeah. And let's see. And actually, uh, if you think about it, that bird is kind of a different style than corner too, you know? Let's see where this one comes from. Well, we don't know because it uh, comes from a UPS store in Stuart, Florida. So 
Now let's see what we got here, Rob. Stork, Florida. That's, uh, is that down there by Miami or <laughs> where it is? Uh, we'll see here. Bob Burns Cutter's doing the job. Oh, we're seeing some, uh, some awfully nice things. Yeah, here. very nice stuff. Yeah. Except for that canteen, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. There's my, my name and address, and that's it. That's what he says in there. No comments about the stuff. And there's a box inside of a box again. Well, you guys are getting one of the packing now. This is a way to send stuff. Might be the same man, I don't know. I don't really think so, good. but uh, might be the same man. Let's see what the... So this is from Florida too, right? Yes, from Stewart, Florida. And uh, let's see what this is. I do not have a clue. Well, why would you? <laughs> oh, list of contents. There okay. you go. That's a good person. I appreciate that. Oh, it looks like we have a, a number of, uh, of different items. Okay, this will be fun. Let's see. Uh, got some free bubble wrap there. Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, it looks like we're going to... We got a collection of belt buckles there. There's a nice RAD. Um, what's this, a Hitler Youth? A um, DAF. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I haven't had a DAF in a while. Not in a while. Uh, this is this is kind of interesting too. It has a, a specially applied uh, SA insignia on a on a uh, nickel buckle. Yeah. So I would think that's NSKK. I think. I wouldn't know. It's heavy too. Feel how heavy it is? Yeah. Boy, here's a lovely uh, army. Boy, that's spectacular. And another one just as nice. Yeah, a couple of beauties there. Yeah, very nice. The DAF especially. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Well, you got to be careful with them too. They reproduce them. Um, We'll have to look this one up, but this one looks fine. It shows shows some wear and so forth, and uh, uh, quite a bit of age in between the teeth and all. So this is probably okay, but we'll look it up. Yeah, guys, sorry to say, but they even reproduce belt buckles. So it's uh, you got to be careful with uh, with everything in this hobby. Okay, that's. The first thing there. Let's see, there's a, oh, there looks to be other things too. Well, let's see what's in in this nice uh, velvet bag. I like that velvet bag. Mm. Yeah. Looks like something you'd want to put an honor dagger in or something. Boy, that's. That's a real goodie there. I don't think we'll throw this bag away, Ob. This is nice. <laughs> oh. Well, it's got a uh, an Alcozo, looks like Army Dagger in it. In good condition. Yeah, it's not a high lift, but it's... No, it's not a high lift, but it's, it's got the lift. proper... Uh, Pommel and cross guard and scabbard looks correct. But I'm seeing trouble here already, guys. Everything's Alcozo except the blade. <laughs> well, we've got some problems here, guys. Maybe the blade was poor and Years ago, somebody switched it, didn't know it made any difference what blade you put in. Uh, scabbard, too? Uh, the scabbard uh, oh, is a, a generic, generic type. Generic, yeah. So, um, but um, 
Well, guys, it's all good parts, and that icorn blade is still yeah, mint too. It's a good dagger. It's just it's not a good dagger. proper. Just not proper, no. Uh, but that's okay. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can work that out for. Her. We'll see. Uh, and let's see. We got another, another little box here. Rather disappointing for such a fine bag. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying there should be a high leader in that bag, and it's, <laughs> it's Alcozo dagger with an acorn blade. What are you going to do? Oh boy, well we got some some stuff here. Looks like some metals, Ob. Oh boy. Uh, that's a uh, first class cross there. Um, we'll have to have that looked at. Uh, it looks all right on the surface to me, but you gotta you gotta get these uh, all looked at. Um, the one thing I'm not too does that look like a brass button to you, Ob? Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, you think it's okay? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, collectors in that box. Uh, uh, there was a, uh, a ton of Iron Crosses, Imperials, first and second types, uh, and we've laid them all out here. Um, they all, these metals all look good to us. We'll have them vetted, uh, but I think we're on pretty good uh, uh, ice here. Uh, they, they really, uh, and obviously somebody that uh, bought this many Iron Crosses knew what they were doing. Well, collectors, that was uh, that was some set of Iron Crosses. Huh? Beautiful things they are. Uh, let's see what else. There's more stuff in this box. Oh, here's a, uh, a Luftschutz uh, book um, and a, uh, a DAF book. I won't get into paging through them. And there's another box in here yet. Let's see what this is. Oh my! <laughs> some more, uh, some more buckles. Uh, that's what a political leader, isn't it, Ob? Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see the other side of that. They usually have an RGM on the back of them and all that stuff. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, a very nice. Um, uh, police buckle here with a leather tab uh, and here's a um, uh, an army with a leather tab so uh, so that's it all from this man uh, a lot of stuff here guys uh, a lot of stuff for you know that's different from daggers and all and I know you guys uh, like to see all kinds of different things um, there's the lid for that so um, I hope our uh, video took pretty good pictures of everything I know it's hard to to buy a medal from a video picture but uh, uh, if you're interested in any of them we'll try to help you and at least we have all the numbers. You know how I've numbered them now, one through seventeen, and all that. And so uh, we should be in pretty good shape now, guys. All right, that that'll do it for that shipment. Up oh, one box left. Okay. And the list of contents. All right. Keep all that together. Nice box there, guys. Some real treasures. Okay, moving right along. And uh, we'll see what else uh, we got here. I think there's another uh, couple more boxes, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at this one next. This man's from Tyler, Texas. See what we got here. There's a secret of this to get this open here. Uh, 
Maybe it just comes from the end here. Yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys. Well, looks like a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff. Uh, boy. Oh my. A lot of stuff nicely jammed into one box. We're going to be running late today. Yeah, got a lot of work here, guys, to figure this all out and get it all priced up. And you guys will be calling, what do you want for that? What do you want for that? And we don't even know what the piece is yet. And uh, <laughs> it just is really, uh, really difficult. Well, let's see what we got here. This, uh, this looks like a, a bag of, uh, of whatnot here. Um, go through this as quickly as we can. Well here's a medical shoulder board for a lieutenant. Uh, That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, I do not know what that is. I think that's uh, hunting. Nor that. I think they're both hunting. You right think so with the swaths on them? Yeah. Uh, here's some more insignia. That's uh, police I think. And, I don't know what that one is. Uh, this is a nice uh, HJ nice, uh, yeah. award with the uh, the tag still on it. That's a pretty good thing. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Yeah. Uh, and a uh, Folkstorm armband. Absolutely the biggest one I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, it is big, yeah. They're usually <laughs> slimmer than that, saving material. And this is uh, Sergeant Schultz is here. Jeez, yeah. that's the biggest one I've ever seen. And uh, I do not know what that is, but you sure get your share of swastikas on that mm -hmm. one. Uh, swastikas. Well, this is nice. A, um, uh, an NSFK. Yeah, that's NSFK Sports Eagle. Yeah. Uh, that looks SS, but I don't know what it is. I've seen this before. Take another look at it. Uh, here's a, uh, a small, like a judge's armband mm -hmm. when it's all stamped. And uh, oh, here's a Herman Goering uh, armband. Cuff title. Cuff title, I mean, yeah. Oh, well, okay, collectors, that was that bag of insignia and cuff titles and so forth. And Alb says he needs another drink, which I can imagine. He's, he never seem to have enough here. All right, that's good. And we'll get to the to the next bag here and see what that is. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, wow! Wow, this is a mm. look at the condition of that scabbard paint, and the hilt is really quite nice too of this Hitler Youth knife. And nice on the reverse also. Good leather. Wow. Let's see what the blade looks like, guys. Just a little bit of wear where the leather covers there. You see that almost all the time. A little wear on the quillin also. So we know this is a pop metal type. Oh, really nice blade. Really, really fine blade. Hmm. Let's see on the back. Uh, oh, there you go, guys. That's kind everybody wants. A hmm. 1939 dated icorn. Yeah. Well, that's a very desirable HJ knife. The blade is in really, really fine condition. No sharpening. Just really, really nice. It's a pleasure to see one uh, that good. Double poof icorn, yeah. Yeah, that's a... He's in really good shape, too. That's a good piece. Very, very good piece. Yeah, I like that one, Ob. Yeah, that's that's definitely very, very nice. Let's see what else we got here. I don't need the Bob Burns cutter. Another drink, guys. Bob Burns. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Ah, well, 
a nice uh, nice second one to look off it and it looks like we got a, <laughs> an extra army ring on it oh boy you see it all there yeah i guess didn't know what to do with it just uh, to... it probably just was a loose thing he stuck it on there yeah. the triple hanger well it's the kind that go on a pack scabbard so maybe we could use that beautiful grip though really beautiful uh, the scabbard is one of those silvered ones too nice mounts and yeah let's see what the blade looks like on it oh wow <laughs> that's a killer a real killer boy that's see all the grain in there Rob and all boy that is that is really a beautiful blade and uh, oh it's an FW Huller yep beautiful blade though wow so there you go guys with an extra army carrying band first time I've ever seen that yeah. <laughs> it's funny it sticks out like a sore thumb yeah so that's a good piece I like that I can roll with that at all See, we got the youth knife, so we got these to open yet. Let's see. Some interesting stuff here, huh, guys? Yes. Every box is always something of interest. You know, it's you never know what's going to be here. And since the subject of military is so vast, uh, you can virtually do this for years and still see something different each time. Well, so it looks like we got a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I'll just kind of dump it out, but there's... Um, I see some a kid's, uh, kids belt buckle here. That's pretty desirable. Uh, this is a watch fob. Uh, not sure what this is. Some kind of a... It's got brackets on the back like it's an insignia. It looks like a DLV, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, and there's a old, old AH. Well, wow, here's a... Um, Wow. <laughs> uh, this is this appears to be an original SS honor ring that's worn to death. It's been shined up so bad it's gone. Yeah. It still has the presentation into it. Uh, Zeinen Lieben uh, Lindner, L I N D N E R, 3336. H. Himmler, and it looks original to me. I mean, that's a... Let me see that thing. It does, Ob. It looks original. <laughs> it's just worn to death. It's worn to well, death. Well, it was awarded in 1936. Yeah. Theoretically, that could have been worn for eight years. Look at the uh, engraving inside, and you'll see it's real. Well, I don't know if I can pick it up with this camera. That is the most worn ring I've ever seen. Yeah, but I think it's a real one. And it's still got the guy's name, which is probably researchable. Boy, that was a surprise to see that in, in this box of bric-a-brac. You never know. You never know. I haven't seen an SS ring in so long, either. Oh, that's a real one. I'm... 90 percent that that is the most worn one yeah. i've ever seen yeah no question about it let me see that line yeah. still i don't know there. what these things are yeah, it's got the line too hmm. no that that's a that i think that's a real ring i've seen those chips before yeah. i don't know what they are either though. no I, I people say poker chips i think they're poker chips from the victorian period and they got the swaths on it yeah, because they're good luck good luck yeah yeah um but anyhow, guys, uh, there you go. Uh, boy, I'm kind of excited about that SS ring, even though it's worn to death, if we can research that man and find out who he was. 
I mean, what was the date? It was 36, I think, on it. His name was uh, Lindner, L-I-N-D-N-E-R, awarded on, uh, oh, 7336. So it was March 7th, 1936, Heinrich Himmler. We'll have to look it up. Boy, that is worn to death. You can still just make out, though, where some of the uh, yeah. runics were and all. You can uh, I've still... just never seen one that worn down. I've seen some worn yeah. down ones, but I'm not, not that much. See, you can see the runics where they were there, too. Um, and let's see, yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. It has a line in the back under the skull, too. That, that's a real ring. Wow, how about that? I didn't expect to see that in that uh, group of stuff, huh? Whew, you never know. Well, let's see what else is here, guys. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, somebody found a good use for popcorn, <laughs> yeah, there you finally. Go. They mount stick pins on them. Now they put stick pins in there. And uh, the RLB is pretty nice. There's a veterans and uh, the other ones are Red Cross, it looks like. Let me see them again. There they are. And uh, here's a, looks like a, a political, a police, or an SA, and a Russian front stick pin. You know, some of you guys collect them and they're not, they're not expensive, so. Uh, it's a nice thing to, to get a whole collection of them and display them, right? I mean, it's kind of fun. And then I guess we got this one more bag here. Let's see what's in here. Well, looks like a cigarette case for you, Pop. It does. Wow, boy, I like that. Wow, it's a very, very simple box here. But it's got the NSKK Eagle. Hmm. Uh, in the corner, um, it's in nice condition too. It's not all beat up or scratched or. Well, I could see it if you weren't flipping it around. Let me see the NSKK. I still can't see it. Can't get that. Let's see if there's anything inside of it. Ooh, wow. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Presentation, yeah? It's really, really wonderful. <laughs> wow. Absolutely wonderful. Dated 34, real early. Well, that NSKK Eagle looks early, so mm. it makes sense. That's a beautiful engraved job, isn't it? Wow. It's quite impressive. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's a really nice piece, that is. Might be some famous names on there, too, or infamous. Um, can we get those names at all there? Yeah, I got them all. Got them all, yeah. And the date. Yeah. 34, I mean. To get all this so we can... Yeah, I got it all. Yeah. Don't my film, friend don't David... Film half of it. <laughs> yeah, my friend David Goldsmith in England, he loves to look at that stuff and tell me what it all says, so... Any silver markings or anything from Maker Mark on it, on the tab or anything? Um... I believe there's some markings there, but I can't see that. Yeah, maybe. I don't Just know, a that's scratch. where the ribbon was, yeah, the other yeah, ribbon. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sometimes on. right here. Yeah, usually there. Like a Caberta Hep or something like that. Or... It looks like, oh, there we go. I thought it was a silver piece. There they are, right there. Yeah. That's a very, very good uh, cigarette case. 
what is it? Uh, 835. 835, yeah. With the crown. Um, yeah. That's a very, very good cigarette case. When did the SA go, um, when did the NSKK form? Well, uh, they formed early on. Uh, they called them SA Motor Corps at first, um, but they were still the NSKK. Uh, we don't really see them on daggers until they right. uh, had their SA daggers painted in 1936, but they were very early on too. Um, Hune Line, I think he was. Uh, I think he was a World War One buddy of uh, Adolf's. That's how his name's on there, is it? I didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, Dave Goldsmith in England. He'll tell us more about it. So, um, G collectors. That was uh, well, uh, right down to a. Boy, that thing's all over the place. That bag. I like that one. Yeah. I mean, boy, there you go with a with an SS uh, honor ring and. Uh, Holy mackerel, Andy. Man, that was a... Uh... Did I open this one? Nope. Oh, there's one I missed here, guys. Boy, what an interesting group of stuff, huh? I'm telling you, collectors, it just is a... Uh, you just never know, and... Uh, isn't it interesting to see what people send in, and... Some stuff is the worst in the world, and some is just really great. Uh, wow. Well, let's see what we got here. Oof. I, uh, <laughs> I, that one I don't think. <laughs> All kinds of SS marks on the back of it, and, uh, Oh, and this is SS Einsatzgruppen leader. <laughs> yeah, look at the back of it too. I don't know. Oh, well. Well, we'll check it out, collectors, but that one looks a little over the top to me. Well, collectors, we're, uh, we're down to the last box here. Uh, I'm sorry the video's been going pretty long, but... Um, I don't know, what are you going to do? You guys seem to like it if they're long and short. doesn't matter. Uh, as long as there's something fun to look at, right? That's the whole idea of it. Mm. I've, been, I've been pretty good too. We only, we only drank half of the um, <laughs> Imperial too. That's, it's, uh, it's not over yet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. In fact. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, this box is, uh, is coming from, uh, from where here? Uh, uh, Livonia, Michigan, guys. Let's see what's in here. I wonder where Livonia, Michigan is. Probably somewhere, I don't know. What's, what's in Michigan? What's a big town in Michigan? What's the capital? Detroit. Uh, Detroit, there's yeah. tons of towns. Detroit. In you got a UP, you got a yeah. Gross uh, Point. Just a Gross Point, ah, oh, that's the place, oh, Gross Point. Yep. Well, anybody that comes from Gross Point, <laughs> believe me, they got a lot of dough. Yep. Well, I got a uh, Hello Tom letter here. And uh, let's see what's, what's in here. Looks like we got our share of packing material here too. Oh well, we'll get through it. Looks like there's a box inside here, a box within a box. That's always good. I'm getting that quite a bit yeah. now, Bob. You know, the fourth that? one this time is taking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. No, it's good. It's better than some nightmare. Yeah, we all want to see something come all smashed to death or whatever. Uh, so I'll get the big box off of here. Sure, that's it? Yeah, there's just one box in here. Alright, let's see what we got here. One good box. Let's 
sounds like uh, glass. I hope it's uh, hope it's all still together. Come on, baby. Ugh. Yeah, boy. Here we go. <laughs> A lot of flaps. A lot. Wow! Look at this. Uh, oh. Look at this beautiful stein. I like the way we set it up too, keep the uh, lid closed. Yeah. Wow, this is a beauty though. Whoops. Except the... Uh, it's just a little bit loose, that's all. No, the... Um, this thing is broken here. But I guess that's something that could be easily repaired. I guess that's why he had it all rubber band yeah. closed. But the uh, still opens, and uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty Stein um, Imperial, obviously. Um, it says Musketeerville. Uh, it's from the uh, 11th Company Infantry Regiment, Kaiser Wilhelm II, uh, from Hesse. It's a Hessian. Uh, goblet. We don't see too many things from, from Hesha. So that's kind of nice. And then it looks like it's got all the guys' names that were in Musketeer Will's regiment all in there. And then the um, uh, the date on it is uh, from 1904 to 1906. Uh, for you guys that, um, that don't know about um, Regimental Steins um, uh, during the Imperial period, um, every young male was required uh, to serve uh, two years uh, in the Imperial Army. And um, a lot of guys, um, after they uh, were getting out of the Army, they wanted something to uh, remember their service time. So these um, uh, regimental Steins are are fantastic because they they're so colorful uh, and they have all the uh, details of the regiments uh, who the awardee was and even the people that were in his group along with the date so what could be better as a nice thing to uh, uh, to save for your retirement so that's a uh, that's a nice um, nice piece I like that do you like that Ob? Oh, sure. I love those yeah. things, especially when they're filled up. <laughs> filled up, yeah. And let's see what else is in here. Uh, um, wow, this is a, this is pretty. Ha! Huh. This is similar to... Oh, th that reminds me of something, yeah. yeah. Then uh, that looks uh, a little different. It's very similar. Uh, this is a, um, a beautiful crystal stein. Uh, with a helmet on the top, uh, and it has the um, the man's initials A.D. and uh, 1901 through 26. Wow. This guy was a career yeah. guy. Let me see that. Pretty interesting. Yeah, that's beautiful uh, thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's very nice. I like that one. Well, the silver so uh, patinaed and all, it, uh, but it shows you they, they did make that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I wonder if it's Hallmark, too. It, yeah, let me take a look at it. Be careful with it. There's something inside yeah, I, I got to take out. It. But that's a beautiful thing. I love the engraving, too. Mm. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Um, Let's see what kind of action we get on the lid. Oh, smooth. Yeah. Nice, huh? Very nice. No home marks on the silver? That looks to, like silver to me. I'd have to look at it more. Wait, there's something on the side here. No, it's just yeah. more from the fingers. Let me and see. Let's what's, see what's inside of it. Yeah, we'll see what's inside here. Wait, a lot of different stuff today. Well, you're not kidding. Steins and inside steins. And yeah. It's kind of hard to get this out here. My hand's too big. Is that a puzzle? <laughs> there it is. Oh, there's something inside that too. 
Uh, let's see, just <laughs> it's, it's kind of a cute little thing here. It's for a uh, a little shot. That's why the shot glass. I think they're shot glasses, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and there's three three silver shot glasses with it that are uh, that are marked on the bottom too. Looks like a coat of arms on top. Yeah. See if you can catch what's oh, on yeah, the watch. There's three there together there. That's a nice little thing. Says or me. or they may come with a stein or well no, why would you have shot glasses with a stein? Well, yeah. These say made in West Germany, so. They're in West Germany? Yeah. Oh well they're not old then. I think three would be bad luck. Don't you need four? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Cool little piece though. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's when you get to stop and have one and you're with your boys. Yep. Cool, I like that stuff. Oh, look at this. They exactly fit. Yeah, it's a shot car. Yeah. yeah. The shot glasses. Now there's something else in here that looks very interesting. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that cool, guys? Look at that beautiful pickle halb. Uh, oh, it looks like it's from Saxony. And what is oh, something rattling There's a lot inside? Of rattling going on there. Oh, oh, wait oh, a minute. Boy. Oh, wait a minute. This is this is going to be might cool. be on the table next week. This is going to be cool. Well, isn't that <laughs> something? It's an inkwell. You think? I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it's an inkwell. It doesn't come out. Yeah. Ah. That's how it goes. Isn't that isn't that neat? Wow, it's heavy. The whole thing is solid brass. Why don't you take the glass out and uh, flip it over? See what's on the bottom. Take this out. Put this over here and then see what's on the bottom of it. On the very bottom. Good idea. Nothing. Oh yeah, there is oh, something see, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you were right again, Ob. <laughs> 720. Yeah. I don't see anything else though, but... Yeah. What a cool piece that is. Isn't, that, isn't like that a cool thing to sit, have on your desk? Man, that is neat. You open it up, dip your pen into the ink well. Is this, a, yeah, that's a separate, uh, this, the uh, chin strap is separate with a Saxon coat of arms. Uh, uh, I think that's a very, 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 very classy piece. Look at that. Wow. There was probably a little um, little cup that went into the top of it. Yeah, maybe. It's nice for though. The ink well. Boy, I like that though. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Boy, is there an assortment of stuff, huh? A God. cornucopia of stuff today. Boy. Yeah, cornucopia. That's the word for it. Um, uh, I just... Um, it's such a pleasure to... Uh, you open box by box. Each box has something interesting or several things that are interesting and then the next box is completely different from the last box and then I mean, it just goes on and on and uh, uh, what a what a thrilling hobby this is when you look at the the number of beautiful things that were made and uh, and we're lucky enough to uh, be able to collect them um, makes for a great life as you guys know so I guess that's um, that's the end of our um, of our video number 101 is that right Ob? that's right yeah so we wish everybody the 101. best yep, yep. and uh, we'll we'll see you next time and uh, I hope you enjoyed this and if I can do anything for you please let me know thanks